pulling the camera out of the game. Yeah. Whoa, where are we going? Where are we going? Wow. What did we just do? That was amazing. Yeah, we, well, we sloppily pulled the GoPro out of the game. But who cares? Of the crew. The crew. We saw Hi the guys. crew. Uh, we're recording. Yeah, we are. We had a preview event where we were playing on consoles now. We've been playing the beta for a while. The beta's been available on PC since, I think, July. So um, we went through a couple game modes here. Obviously, what they started us off with was like some car customization, which a lot of people have probably seen before. You have your typical like you know missions, your uh, delivery missions uh, without damaging a car. You have your race missions, um, which is just your typical street races. You have outrun, which you outrun the cops. Um, maybe protect the VIP. Uh, takedown, which you and I play, which, man, they have those in the beta, but they are freaking hard. Um, the, we saw two takedown missions. Yeah. One of them started off on top of the Utah Olympic Park, presumably. Yes. Uh, 100, 120 kilometer ski jump. <laughs> and all the cars jumped off. So, I mean, this gives you an example of how the crew's sensibilities are. They're, they're very it's out arcade of this world. It's arcade. ridiculous and arcadey. Yeah, it's, it looks fun, though. It looks cool. It was running well on the Xbox One. Yeah. I mean, it's one of those. The, but that takedown mission, it, it just... It's hard. It's very difficult. It's, yeah. it's tough. It's like, you know, it reminds me of, like, you know, Need for Speed, Hot Pursuit, where you're like, you have to damage those guys. And, like, I, I, I felt like in that game, you could pretty much, you know, you could catch you up catch with them up. and screw them up pretty good. This one, you're going through the forest on the snow. You're hitting trees. You're, you're hitting, hitting, trees, hitting like, you're houses. houses. My parents' house yeah. probably got hit. It, I think it, my, you got my dog there. And then we did the, uh, the I call it the Terminator 2 level, where oh, we're, like, yeah. in the, like, ditch, you know, like the, the canals, canals of, of L.A., LA. you know, trying to knock over a, a bus. Pres like, freeing some prisoners yeah, or something? Yeah, that's kind of the story mode mission. It's nuts. I mean, that, that of course, it's fun. Um, you also have your raids and your collect missions, which we do. Like, we're, like, driving around, like, this hill countryside, trying to run over drug packages. Yeah, you just kind of had to tap these rubber packages. They fell out of an airplane, apparently, that we're smuggling. Anyway. Yes, and they're all over the place. They're all over. I mean, whoever, whoever was <laughs> delivering the, that, uh, that, that supply really they, fucked up. Yeah, they dumped yep. lots of drugs all over wine country. Yep. And then um, I think we went off. We, all, we went through the different like performances. You have like, your, you have like your different specs, right? You have like yeah. your street, your dirt, which is like your rally car, which yeah. is kind of like what we're looking at right now. Because a lot of the races, a lot of them were dirt roads yeah. like this. So you, nice. had to, you had to spec out your... What is, is this this a, is a Nissan Z. You have to spec it out and kind of give it some like you know off-road tires and some capabilities. Obviously, you can see it's insanely hard to control. That was the one thing I knew. I just noticed about this game was that it was insanely to difficult to, to control this car because you are going through five different specifications and everything is so different. Yeah. That when you go from like circuit to raid to performance to, to street, snow, yeah, or whatever snow, that was, yeah, yeah it, it just gets kind of crazy. So that's gonna take some time getting used to. Did you? I we felt like that. the rear wheels, and I'm sure a lot of people have this from the beta are just marbles because it, the cars go like this. They turn. It's squirrely. It's squirrely. It's and really squirrely. And, and that's what's so weird about it. It's a, it feels like an arcade game, an arcade eraser. Like, if you played Test Drive Unlimited, like on 360 or PS1, PS2, whatever, like, you know, like, the guys at Eden, they made, I mean, and that's who a lot of these guys are that are from Ivory Tower making uh, the crew. You know, like, this is kind of like the spiritual successor of Test Drive Unlimited where you're, Full There's so many too. RPG elements in this game. Like they're obviously trying to make this like a role-playing racer, which is cool. And then they showed off uh, the four v four PVP, which is where like you and your crew challenge another crew, um, you know, to, for, to various races. It can be the takedown missions. It can be a lot of different things. And so uh, I like how the um, in, in four versus four in your crew faction or whatever, like they have like a you have a weighted score, right? So like. For example, me and Andy, we had one. We had a developer on our team who finished first, but me and Andy finished in dead last. But we still tied because um, he he carried he carried us throughout the entire mission. Yeah. Uh, the other thing they really focused on was factions. They kind of went into detail about what factions are, and it's really interesting. It, it kind of reminds me of like Planet Side Two, where you have like your different factions. And at some point during the story missions, you'll be able to join one of five factions in the game. It's like choosing Horde and Alliance, if there's like five of them, you know? Okay. And they have control over different parts of the country. And Is that based on... Now, to get control, you, uh, if you belong to that faction, you do missions, right? Yes, you do faction-based missions. They, yeah. can be, they can be multiplayer, they can be single player. Um, but you earn reputation by doing these missions, and therefore you make your faction stronger. Um, and, you know, it's, it's interesting. They, they went over some details about how to, like, balance this out and whatnot. I mean, obviously, like, like, there were concerns about, like, you know, hey, like, what's going to prevent people from just joining the most popular faction and just kind of taking over the country? But the thing is, you're not going to get a lot of rep points unless you're, like, the best in your faction. So if you're really competitive 
and there's like a lot of good racers on your particular faction, it may entice you to switch over to a different faction where you're a lot, you know, you're a much bigger fish in a smaller pond, essentially, you know, like you're taking on more responsibility, but you're also reaping those rewards. Yeah, so. and the rewards for having control as a faction, you get like specialized parts, you get platinum tuner parts yes. and stuff like that, yeah, and more like, money. And yeah, you get more money, you get a better, you just, you get a better car, essentially. Yeah. And it was interesting, um, you know, they, they, they talked about how they want this game to last a long time, they want people to continue to, to, to play the crew uh, for years to come. Um, and, and it certainly has a huge world that I'm like, that's its, it's main crazy. draw. Once you get good enough at the game, I assume, these these missions will last hours, or potentially could. And they even mentioned that like, yeah. they're, they want to have a plan that if you want to be dedicated, you could have a three hour mission. Now, I don't know if <laughs> it's nuts. Everyone's, it's anyone's going to go through with game. that. But, and if you hit a tree like once, you're basically yeah, and it's Thank like you. that's like their version of like the raid, right? Like, yeah, it's yeah. like they, these insanely long three-hour missions, and obviously that's to be like seen. We haven't even we seen one of those that. yet, but but you know, I mean, I, I think for those that are that are fans of Test Drive Unlimited, that are fans of that like series and that pedigree of, of an arcadey type racer, I think you'll enjoy this. You know, you're not tied into just one type of driving. No, like, no, you have like five, five yeah. including the stock model of the car that you purchase, and so like again, I think that's the challenge, and that's also kind yeah. of the fun of the game is you're going to be able to spec your car out, you know, obviously per race and find out what exactly you need your car to be and what it to do and, and you just you look at these models and you can just do some crazy stuff with your car. So come join me and Andy Bauman's crew. Are we gonna, gonna, we're gonna call are it, we gonna be the crocodiles? We're gonna call it Snow. Oh. And we're gonna have the theme song Informer. Okay. Can we actually play that without getting sued? Maybe the CBS on it?